Hi Aquarius. Okay, so in terms of awareness, your awareness uh, is really focused on career and finances and and property and perhaps how you spend your time. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is this youthful energy and he's holding this big pentacle. And he is thinking about how can I build a strong foundation, a secure foundation, a prosperous life. Well, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to be focused. I'm going to be very devoted, but mostly I'm going to learn. I'm going to study. I'm going to um, be devoted to the process of gaining knowledge. And so whatever this may apply to you, if you are learning a new skill, you may be taking courses, maybe you're researching online, um, maybe you're investigating some local college classes or courses to take. You know, if it's a hobby, if it's a way to accelerate your career, you know, you're ready to do the work. And sometimes it's slow moving, it's slow and steady, and it's a process. The pentacle way, which is grounded, practical thinking, using your common sense, having a plan, sticking to the plan and getting it done, you know, getting the work done. So here, whether this is someone within your life, who's this youthful person who is so desirous of learning, or this represents you and your desire to learn something new and to begin the process of studying. So here we have this sense of gaining knowledge and with the 10 of pentacles, you know, that goes to the family resources, the money, the property, the investments, the legacy of the generations of, you know, the, the, the young family and the elders and, you know, everything that you work hard for that you're putting into taking care of the family. So paying a mortgage, paying for repairs, uh, making sure that the children have what they need in terms of school or, or college. You know, you are focused on developing security here and paying attention to your budget, paying attention to the resources that you have, the property, the investments, the ability to generate income to help your family. And, you know, sometimes we have decisions that we have to make. And sometimes we have all older parents that need care and that can really impact, um, you know, a family financially. And so you have to work things around. And so this is, you are looking at your finances and the family this week. You may be looking at a budget. You may be looking at expenses going out in order to do something for the household. So in terms of guidance, how interesting we have the hanged man, major arcana, and we have the emperor, also the major arcana. So the hanged man, we see the hanged man hanging here comfortably with this greenish halo surrounding his head and you know there's a sense here of something in being suspended so maybe you've put something on pause maybe you're sacrificing or you're setting aside your own interests in order to help someone else and again maybe it's related to taking care of a family matter that the hanged man is um, accepting the circumstance for right now He's not struggling to be released. He's just kind of there and more than likely just taking the time to think about things. And as you're turned upside down, you see things differently. And so that um, taking a pause and having the opportunity to think about things differently may be very instrumental for you, may be very helpful to you in looking at a lens as you study, as you build um, a firm foundation for your family. The hanged man is saying, look at things in a new way. Maybe that sparks a new approach for you, a new way of thinking. And sometimes it's just important not to fight, 
the elements, you know, just to, to let it go, to suspend. And things will, you know, things will turn out eventually. So with this hanged man who is saying maybe sacrifice, uh, taking a pause, then we have the authority of the emperor, the decisiveness of the emperor, of the confidence of the emperor. The emperor looks forward for people to, to pay attention to the rules, to do what's necessary in order to promote safety and, and a cohesive spirit. And so the emperor wants everybody to do well. He's experienced, he's generous, he is looking out really for the welfare. But in return, he expects people to, to kind of um, bow down and to follow the rules. So a couple things. There's confidence and there's leadership here and authority with the emperor. And then there's this sense of just letting go and releasing. So perhaps you are you know, you're releasing some of these ideas of having to fit into the structure, into the organization. And again, you may be sacrificing something of yourself in order for the benefit of your family, putting a dream or something on hold for the benefit of the family. The emperor is the benevolent leader who's looking out for the best interests. This could be, again, relate to a father type figure within the family, providing leadership, providing guidance. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the three of cups, we have the nine of wands. Two very different cards. You know, the Three of Cups, it's about celebrating with your friends, enjoying good times, letting the abundance and toast, you know, letting the abundance flow and toasting life. Be light, be free, share with your friends, communicate, and, you know, uh, accept the social invitation. Go out and release your, um, you know, release your inhibitions for a night. It may do you good. It may lighten you up as we're kind of going through this hanged man, new perspective, perhaps having to sacrifice and the emperor who's providing the structure and, you know, the parameters. Lighten it up, be with your friends, talk, share, have fun. And the Nine of Wands, you know, the Nine of Wands, it's about protecting yourself and defending yourself in many senses of having fortitude and perseverance. So how could we look at the Nine of Wands within this reading? Well, we may be saying to hang in there and whatever you are studying or however you are dealing with your family matters is to continue that you're, you know, whatever happens, you're not giving up. You're not uh, walking away. And so there's always this lessons of fortitude and tenacity from the Nine of Wands to be determined. And where does the determination come from? It per perhaps comes from everything driving for the benefit of the family. How you think, what you do, the guidance and the structure of the family. So let's choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the week. And we'll just get a sense of something to think about for the week. Prioritize, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. The emperor structure and organization. Uh, perhaps that's what is needed in terms of this Ten of Pentacles. And finally, let's choose a card for love, and we'll see what the message is for love.
Trust you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. Trust yourself, trust your decisions, trust your actions and what you're doing. You know, have faith in your intuition. I think that's so key, so important. So my Aquarius friends, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week. I thank you for your time and I'll see you next week. Take care.